Hello and welcome to another UMEC tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial, which is the third installment of the how to create a rat rod in UMEC, we are going to cover creating the underlying chassis for the vehicle. In the first tutorial, we created the white wall uh, tires and wheels. In the second tutorial, we did this rough outline of how we want the rat rod to look like. And in this one, we are going to create the chassis that we can then put everything on. So to do that, let's uh, get started with doing a few extrusions. Now you can see that when I did this initial sketch, one of the issues with the sketch is that I used uh, sketch planes. And so everything is flat from the, from the top view or the plan view. Everything is pretty, it's just, just straight. Our chassis, on the other hand, is going to be kind of more of a V shape. There's two ways that we could do this. Uh, one is by doing extrude, kind of an extrude along path, uh, but the other one is a little bit uh, more simple. So to start, I'm going to draw a square. Oh. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'm going to double tap this. And I'm just going to scale this to kind of more of a rectangle. And then I'll scale it down a little bit. Something like that. And I'm going to bring this down, pretty much down to the bottom here. And for the start, I'm actually going to bring it in right about here. Now, when I drew this, it's right on the center line. So I want to bring this forward just a tad bit. Uh, probably, we'll go right here, right behind the front wheels. There we go. So I'm just going to do a series of extrusions for now. So I'm going to tap extrude, I'm going to pull this back, I'll turn wireframe off. And you see, I'm just creating an extruded shape. So there we go. I'll extrude that back to right about there. From here, I'll select this side and I'm going to do another extrude. There we go. Um, right about here. And I'm going to select this again. However, before I do the extrude, I'm actually going to move it out. And you'll see that this creates an angle. So this is where the where the engine's going to go and kind of needs to open up a little bit wider for the cab. So put that there and also going to move it up just a tad bit. There we go. Go back to the top view. Do another extrude. I'll come right about here for this. Hit done. Now here is where it's going to get a little tricky. I'm going to do another extrusion, a short one here. Done. But I'm going to move this up or in, inwards like this. And at the same time, I'm actually going to move it up like that. There we go. And I'll extrude it out again. Like that. Hit done. And again, another extrusion. Done, but now I can move this back down. Actually, since this is the back of the vehicle, I might just move this in. And then up a little bit more. There we go. Done. 
So there are the two primary rails for our chassis and we can make some connections between this but uh, you can see that just using a series of extrusions can give you a pretty cool shape actually uh, and you can get to kind of a nice boxed uh, chassis pretty quickly and pretty easily. Uh, one really easy method to uh, making some cross rails is I'm just going to take this shape here, I'll go to the side view, and I tap this little yellow circle to get to the duplicate feature. Tap that, I get duplicate. And I will just actually go to the top view from here. Let's, uh, first of all, let's move this up, make the duplication, and now I'll go to the top view. Let's see. There we go. Rotate this. Oh, before I do that, make sure duplicate is off so you're not just making several duplicates. Rotate this 90 degrees. There we go. And then I'll bring it back down. About there. And I'll just extrude that out as well. Here we go. Now if we turn uh, symmetry off, for example, we can just extrude one across. Go to the top view here. Done. There we go. So now we have a cross brace and you can repeat that uh, wherever you deem necessary to put some cross braces in your chassis. So that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to walk you through the steps of making multiple extrusions to create a box chassis for the rat rod. I hope this tutorial was fun and helpful. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook profiles. I really look forward to seeing what kind of rat rods you guys create. So take care. Have a wonderful day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.